Hola, Hyperchange. Welcome to another episode, a little sick, but I'm back. Estoy en Mexico City in El Pod Box. Shout out a La Condesa, una ciudad muy bonita. Me gusta muchísimo. Too many tacos, but that's all good. But um, we got to talk about this. Elon Musk has been named Times Person of the Year. This has got me so hyped. Like, oh my gosh, we know Elon's awesome, but that's just in our Tesla bubble. That's in the Hyperchange little bubble. To me, it's so important that Elon Musk's accomplishments, what he stands for, the way he runs his businesses gets more pre press. And, and this, this light gets shown on the truth of who Elon Musk is and how he runs his companies and what he's trying to accomplish for humanity, because I think it's so inspiring. Obviously, he's my hero and someone that I look up to um, and who's inspired the way that I run my businesses, who's inspired me to think way beyond of what normally is possible and just think bigger. You can disrupt more. You can do the impossible. Like he's like he was bullied. He, Elon Musk to me just signals the underdog. So it's so ironic when people say he's like a billionaire. He's the richest guy in the world. It's like this dude came to this country with nothing, was an immigrant, built company after company from scratch, never stopped working, did it all to make all of our futures brighter. Like this is such an inspiring moment. And I think he is by far the most important person alive, probably the most important person of this decade, or maybe even of like the last couple hundred years, because he is going to change the trajectory of humanity in such a profound way. I, I think people will forget, forget Steve Jobs. They may even forget Jesus because Elon Musk, and I know that's going to sound crazy, is so, but like Jesus, what did he do? Okay. He wrote some stuff like 2000 years ago and told everybody all these ideas, but like Elon Musk is actually changing the world today. The trajectory of the automotive industry was not going electric. Now it is. That's going to change the long tail of emissions for humans in an incredible way that could literally save us from catastrophic effects of climate change. That's why when I'm on all, all these Tinder dates and I'm like saying that Elon Musk is actually single-handedly saving climate change, I'm like always like, oh man, I really hope Elon doesn't come up. This is going to be a horrible conversation, right? But, and then, and then everyone's always like, dude, that's crazy. Elon Musk sucks. Like, you know, do you see what he tweeted? Like, he's so immature. And I'm like, what did he tweet? And they're like, well, you know, he's, he's, in, you know, and I'm like, what? Like the amount of people who just hate on Elon for no reason, because they read the wrong article or because the mainstream media doesn't understand them is, is so frustrating to me. And that's why this made me so, so happy because I'm like, finally, this is hope. This is hope to me that people will understand the truth. And like Elon Musk is incredible, but we need dozens more Elon Musks. We need every CEO to run their company like Elon Musk, pushing the boundary on impact. Uh, if you haven't read Tesla's impact report, like all the stuff, the way they think through every single little drop of water and resources they use to make their company and products the most sustainable, to make their vision the best, to think about how to use their technology to include the most people. Think about Starlink connecting people in hard to reach places. Like there is an incredible humanitarian angle to everything that Elon Musk does. And that's why this narrative of greedy billionaire, evil Elon Musk, I mean, Elon Musk is set to pay more taxes this year than anyone in US history ever. Like this is daddy Elon. He's our sugar daddy for like the whole country. Like how are we beefing with him? This guy comes to our country, starts all these companies, hires 100,000 people, gives them stock in a company called Tesla, which is then hits a trillion dollar value, making them a ton of people, millionaires and millionaires and investors who believe in this future. I mean, this is to me, we should be celebrating this on such a big level. Like, this is the good news. Like, it's so far, you read the media, it's like, there's always bad news, right? It's always like, oh, this is happening. It's it's bad. Look at what happened. Like, like the job of the news today is almost to show you the worst thing happening in the world and make you feel the worst about it. And that's horrible. And Elon Musk to me is there's so many good news. Like, the best-selling car in America is an electric car. And guess what? It's in a made in America too. And guess what? They're bringing this crazy new self-driving technology to the masses that could solve the biggest public health crisis we have going on right now, which is, if you're my age, how are you most likely to die in a car crash? Politicians aren't fixing that. Other car companies aren't fixing that. Who's working their ass off to fix that? Elon Musk and Tesla. Like, when, and this, this Time Magazine thing gave me hope, but even broader than that, like Elon Musk gives me hope. Like, you know, when I, when I started to find test, like, b b you know, rewind way before I even started YouTube, when I was in high school, I like was panicked about climate change. Like I was like freaked out. I was like, oh my God, like nobody is solving this massive issue that we have. I'm going to have to live with the catastrophic effects of climate change. Like I'm getting anxiety and I'm in high school and middle school because of this daunting problem that humanity's facing, that nobody seems to be fixing, that our government doesn't care about, that there's just nobody tackling. And so when I, and then when I saw Tesla come up with this master plan, I read the blog post. Um, one of my mentors had taken a ride in the, in the roadster and I'm in high school and I'm like, oh my God. This is how we're going to do it. Sexy electric cars. This is going to get us off fossil fuels. And at the time, I was actually in my debate class. Shout out to AJ. We had the, the thing of how do you solve climate change? That was our debate topic, right? Our plan was to set up genetically modified tubes of algae in the desert and then squeeze them out and have like 
you know, biofuel essentially to, to run all the cars. And there'd be like this closed loop system, right? And we'd have less carbon output than the fossil fuels. And I was like, the second I saw the Elon electric car plan of electric sports car, super high priced, mass market sedan, bam, down to, you know, model three, the mat, the truly mass market uh, version of the, the car. I was like, oh my God, this is the plan that's going to work. This is going to be the plan that actually changes the course of the transportation industry. Um, it's just, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but it's just such a powerful statement when you think about the long tail of emissions of like, okay, humanity is like this really slow moving ship, right? Of emissions that are just going this way. And the sooner we start to turn that ship, you know, if it goes further and further, the long tail of those emissions are going to get worse and worse. So the sooner we turn that ship, there is incredible urgency. That's why I'm a big fan of Greta Thunberg and what she does and trying to radicalize people to be like, yo, we need to take big action. And so, but governments aren't going to take that action. They're not incentivized to do it. They don't really have our best interests or futures at heart, maybe because they're all going to be dead in five or 10 years. I think they're too old. But anyway, the point is here, Elon Musk gave me hope. Elon Musk, I saw in my lifetime, in the past decade, change the trajectory of humanity from fossil fuels forever for no hope to an electric car company built in America that's the number one selling car in America that became a trillion dollar company that defeated all these incumbents that everyone said was impossible, that everyone in business school said was bullshit. The amount of times... I can't even imagine what Elon went through. The amount of times I was laughed at for just saying I love Tesla and was an investor in them was insane. I mean, who's laughing now, right? Because I'm still holding all my Tesla stock. But it's just like the amount that had to be overcome and the consequences of changing the trajectory of humanity's emissions forever is so profound and needs to be appreciated at such a powerful level and should be inspiring for those who are looking to change other industries that are uh, causing problems in our world, like the food system, you know? And, and, and so I also tweeted because I want to give you guys not just, you know, why I'm inspired by Elon, but also a little bit of, of I just tweeted this like two hours ago and was like, yo, let, let me feature a tweet in this video. What do you think about Elon? You know, how does he inspire you? How did this uh, him winning person of the year make you feel? So here we got some excellent quotes. Brandon Smith, Elon and the employees of Tesla changed the trajectory of my life in ways that I will always be thankful for. I'd figured I'd be stuck as a 29-year-old video producer in 2017, making 50K a year with a mortgage for the rest of my life. But now I'll be able to enjoy financial freedom before I'm 40. So not only, and this is kind of interesting because it's like, oh, this one guy made money investing in Tesla. First shout out to Brandon. He's awesome. He's been spreading the Tesla word. But it's like, this is the little guys who believed in Tesla, who Elon Musk let invest in his company, who he took along for the ride with him. I think that's such a cool part. Here's another one. What made me trust Elon Musk is his tone when he explains his vision. It's always calm, as if the energy required to execute his vision is constantly simmering in him, about to boil. Never too grandiose, and always remains neutral and op optimistic. I thought this was awesome just because... Elon is so laser focused. He's so focused. And when you hear him talk about the the vision and the mission, this is why I honestly think he's an alien sometimes. Because I'm like, if I was the aliens watching humans, I would have sent down somebody like Elon to make us more sustainable on Earth and to start getting our, our shit together for space, right? And he's just so calm. He almost looks like a robot who's been programmed by the aliens to bring these technologies down to us The when you look at him talk, right? Um, okay, here's another one. I am amazed at his ability to go after some of humanity's largest challenges and have unwavering focus and drive in the pursuit of those. Also, his ability to inspire others and create a culture of passion, hard work, and innovation to realize these lofty missions. This is another superpower of Elon, is being able to inspire people to work their ass off as hard as he does for this mission, even if it's for less pay, even if it's for crazy hours, even if they're stressing out like crazy, but the mission is so important. And I think that is one of Elon Musk's most underrated skills. We know he's a genius engineer. We know he's in, like smart in so many product ways, but Motiv motivating and incentivizing a team of the smartest engineers around the world to tackle your problem in a focused manner is maybe his biggest superpower. Okay, here's another one. He actually did something to help us move away from fossil fuel rather than just talking about it. When I realized this several years ago, I sold my oil stocks, bought Tesla, and then bought the Model 3 all in an effort to support the vision. Love that. Um, he's funny AF too. Trolls his biggest trolls. This is fantastic. I love that about Elon too. Like he's such a just hilarious guy. Like and he has jokes like Jeff Bezos doesn't got jokes. He's not funny. Elon's actually like funny. Like you'd want to kick it with Elon. He would, it would be fun. And like, okay, this is kind of a personal anecdote. But when we did the third row podcast and we went to Elon's house and chilled for for like a day and did this awesome podcast, like, first of all, the dude is so nice. Like him and his family were there. They were so kind. They were just the most chill, normal people. Like we were all overwhelmed and star starstruck, but just so kind. Like they're like, oh, you take a break. You guys must be hungry. Let's get you sandwiches. Like, do they have all these people working for them? Not really. It's like Elon goes to the cabinet and like gets out these plates and we're in, we're in like the, the actor's house. I forget that the Willy Wonka actor's house. And he's like, look at these little cabinets that he made. Like I love these little cute little cabinets. So I, I, you know, aren't they cool? And like, is handing us plates to eat our sandwiches? Like, I'm like, what? Like this dude is just, just normal. Like, I don't know. I just, as much as that story is kind of pointless, I think it's an important anecdote of like, 
he's just actually a good person. And I think that kind of goes by the wayside and like, I don't know, but to me that's super important. And like, I don't know, that makes him more, even more of a hero than his like, well, equally. Okay. He's got his business accomplishments. He's changing the course of humanity, but he's, he's being kind about it too and thoughtful. And I just think like, that's so, so important and that's so, so rare. And that's what like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm just a big fan of that. Okay. He embodies a group of people. Engineers most of the time are underappreciated and even misunderstood, but the actual people who make dreams come true. I love this is another reason I love Elon. He's making engineering cool. He's making it cool to do hard problems. He's making it cool to start a company that actually builds stuff in the real world, not just, you know, make software on the internet, which is great, but we need real world solutions. He's making it cool not to just go into finance or banking um, or business or, you know, strategy or get your MBA, but actually build something the world needs. We need so many more builders and engineers rather than just people investing, you know, just like me, right? We're pointless. We're not helping anything. And so I think that's super, I love the way that Elon uses his platform to be like, yo, humanity, we got too many lawyers. We got too many MBAs. Let's redirect some of these resources into healthcare, into gene editing, um, into, you know, making the world more sustainable, into going to space. Like we need your mind share. He gave solar plus batteries to Puerto Rico after the hurricane to restore power to the grid and have uh, free personal power and have free power since. I mean, this is another example of just like Tesla doing the right thing when no one's looking. And I know people are jaded with huge companies like, oh, it's a huge company run by an evil billionaire. They're not going to be doing anything good. But it's like, dude, do a little bit of Googling. Tesla sees a hurricane. They see they have the technology to help. They see this as a hospital where it's super high impact. Bam, they got a couple extra batteries. Let's send them right there. Who cares about payment? Let's just help and get this up and going. Like this is why techno Tesla's technology is beautiful because it actually is so valuable to communities who need it. But the way that they implement it and just the morality of Tesla's DNA as a company is incredibly rare for a company that size. And it starts at the top with Elon. Dedicating his life to expanding the scope and scale of consciousness and extend the light of humanity by application example. He's genuine through and through and that i think is the biggest reason that elon musk is the world's biggest influencer he's so successful with everything he does why so many people gravitate to him so much because he's truly authentic to his core you look at any other ceo mary barra uh, any politician any other leader or person at his level there's so much bs there's so much just let filtration of what they actually think but when you hear it it, it and you're, it, they're just obfuscating the truth and their true feelings elon musk wears his heart in his sleeve he's constantly honest he's constantly authentic and i think counterintuitively that has led him to create one of the strongest brands in the entire world right now his personal brand and his personal connection he has with his 66 million followers who trust him because he's so authentic elon is the brightest living proof of human potential to bring imagination to reality through creative and persistent work i mean this is that's inspiring because it's like there's so much that just yeah I mean like like when you think about Tesla to me Tesla was so difficult and it was such a like like just like this little factory that who knows if it was going to work who knows if they could pull this off it was such an ambitious goal like how are you going to beat with Ford and GM they have so much more money so many more smart people so much more technology right they've been in the industry for 100 years like the to see Tesla succeed has been like this slow like my mind has just been blown in slow motion over the past three years from the, the worst part of the Model 3 ramp to seeing Tesla just rise from the ashes. It is truly the greatest business case study of all time, um, and it required so much persistence and dedication. So I don't know. I think that's pretty epic. I like that he repeatedly talks about how if other companies outcompete Tesla on electric vehicles, that would not only be fine, but good for the world. He is truly fighting for the greater mission of a sustainable future for us all right? I mean, how many other CEOs are rooting for their competition just because they want to see a change in the world? Like this is, this is the true altruistic nature of Elon Musk that I think people don't understand and why this whole billionaire greedy rhetoric makes no sense. The dude has, doesn't use any of his money. It's all just invested in his companies. The only reason he made all this money is because he built these companies and put all this work in and his equity went up. It's not like he's getting paid millions of dollars in cash. And if anything, he's being forced to liquidate to pay taxes, which I think is kind of BS. Um, so just the, the, the whole, the whole narrative that our politicians and that the media are trying to push of this greedy, uh, billionaire is just so wrong from reality. And it really frustrates me. It's like, dude, this guy's working so, so hard to fix all these problems that you're not fixing Mr. Government, you know, you're doing nothing. And then the person who is doing something you're hating on them. So I actually think this is going to come to a head and we're going to, in, in the next political season, I just think we're ramping up into a bigger and bigger escalation of, or sort of confrontation between uh, the realists who understand what Elon Musk is doing, how we need to change the world versus the politicians who are reading from a script that their lobbyists or bribery uh, people who bribed them uh, gave them. And so, yeah, and I, I, you know whose side I'm on. Okay, this is a good one. The man slept on the factory floor. 
Let me look through the sarcastically long list of CEOs who have never done that from the moment I knew this guy was the real deal. And if you remember at the Model 3 ramp, he was getting a lot of heat for being, uh, for like sleeping on the factory floor, Elon Musk, like, you know, and, and I was like, in my head, I'm like, oh my God, like, I got to rethink every company or startup I'm investing in. Is my CEO willing to sleep on the floor of the factory at night if something's going wrong? And I'm thinking, I'm like, God, none of my companies I invested in have a CEO who's going to do that except Elon. Like the level of just badassness. It's literally like a Marvel movie. If you could watch his life, it would literally be like a superhero movie just against all odds, constantly bullying, constantly pushing through and being able to succeed. And so, I don't know. I think I read enough tweets, but to sum it up, I wanted to thank Elon for hope because the hope that you can change an industry, the hope that you can change the trajectory of humanity, the hope that good can actually win against all of these incumbents and all of these powers to stop you, and that you can actually, you know, inch the world in the direction that you believe in with enough hard work and with enough well thought out, you know, resources and engineers and schemes. And that is just so, so inspiring to me. That gives me hope for the businesses I want to create as an entrepreneur, for the businesses I want to invest in as an entrepreneur, like the, the ceiling for what is possible for how big a company can do, for how ambitious their goals are, for how many companies one person can run has all been shattered by Elon Musk. And I think Elon Musk's contribution to society will not even just be the companies he's created. That I don't think that'll be his biggest contribution. I think it will be the fact that he's inspired an entire generation to think bigger and not only think bigger, but to think bigger with all of humanity's future in mind and how we can do what's best for all of us. And I think his legacy of inspiring us all people like me, people like all of you watching to think bigger and to be more like Elon, that is going to be a legacy that's going to change humanity forever. And that I think we need so much more of like, if you look at the Joe Rogan podcast, they're like, Elon, what do you think the world needs a little bit more of? His answer is like, you know, it sounds kind of corny, but love. And it's like, dude, how can you not agree with that more? And so, um, anyway, this is my rant. Of course, I'm sucking up to Elon, huge fanboy, but major congrats to him. And shout out to Time and the Financial Times for just doing some genuine reporting and giving the cred where it deserves. Um, 2021 was an insane year for the Elon Musk empire. It's only getting bigger. It's only on the way up. There's no stopping it now. This is going to be exciting as hell. Stay along for the ride. The, 20, the Roaring Twenties are here, and they are just going to be insane. And so much of this incredible technological development that's going to happen over the next decade is thanks to Elon. It's, it's thanks to Tesla. It's thanks to the people at SpaceX. It's thanks to the people at Neuralink. And I am so so hyped to be along for this ride and um i just can't i'm like it makes me happy that the world is getting closer and closer to understanding the truth about elon's contribution to society and how much gratitude we should have for that because it's gonna have such a big impact on our lives and the lives of so many generations uh that come after us anyway would love to know what you think in the comments below leave me your comments like why does elon inspire you why were you, what, how did this make you feel that elon's finally getting the credit he deserves like i want all your little elon isms because i think they're so cool and they just make me feel good so there's mine Love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. See y'all next time.